Friends and fellow citizens, Thomas Jefferson here with a message, not required by the Constitution, but my own sense of right and wrong. So far you have heard spirited words from my esteemed predecessor, General Washington. And of course Presidents Lincoln and Roosevelt felt the need to respond to their portrayal, or lack thereof in the novel Polk's soliloquy. I am here to expose a grave abuse of executive power by my associates. Nowhere in the Constitution is the President endowed with the powers of literary critic-in-chief. I, by the way, am very satisfied on the way I am presented in the novel Polk's soliloquy. Sunday morning seems like a beautiful day to visit my memorial. I would encourage it to other such visitors. I do not expect my fellows to hold the same level of restraint as I, but to understand the greater story presented therein. And the oldest brother being named after me was also a nice touch. The American people require an executive that can see the whole picture, not just their absence from it. This continued abuse tarnishes the office and thus stains the legacy myself and others have set forth. In short, quit your bitching. It's making me look bad. I am Thomas Jefferson and that is all I have to say about that.